hello YouTube land. Miss Chris, how you doing? I hope you're all really well. Uh, Saturday the 3rd of July today. Uh, had my second COVID jab a couple of days ago. Uh, and it hit me quite bad again. Um, so yeah, I've been feeling pretty shit for a couple of days. Just a constant headache and a bit of fatigue and stuff. But today, feeling good. The weather's really shit. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, there's some thunderstorms actually forecast for today. Um, but uh, I've just found out that there's a, a pretty cool looking crop circle over at um, Avebury in Wiltshire. So for those of you that don't know, Avebury is a Neolithic stone circle. Um, and uh, yeah, it dates back to like 2850 BC. Um, I've, I've done a couple of videos around there before now, uh, but it looks like there's a, a pretty decent crop circle in one of the fields right next to um, the stone circle. So yeah, I don't normally go out and film vlogs if the weather's not great, but I thought sod it. I've, uh, like I said, not been feeling too great uh, the last couple of days and uh, feeling pretty good today. So I thought I'd get some content on the channel and take you along for the journey. Uh, it's about an hour and a half trek. Uh, left Bristol about half an hour ago. Just making my way down the M4 now. And the next stop is to get some coffee. So uh, yeah, stick with it. This, uh, this vlog will either be really shit or really good. Probably really shit. never seem to resist a nice bacon and cheese turnover <laughs> when I'm out driving in the car. Really shouldn't do it. I'm fat enough already. The weather's actually um, not too bad right now. It's kind of cloudy sunny. It's 21 and a half degrees. It's actually really muggy and humid. Um, it'd be interesting if we get uh, get some thunder rolling in whilst we're over at Avebury because it's, uh, you know, it's like uh, Great Plains, basically. You can, you know, kind of see for miles. It's relatively kind of flat over there. So, uh, yeah, it might be, might be interesting. Let's see what happens. Just driving through Cowan in Wiltshire. This is where I uh, grew up when I was a kid. Might end up back here uh, before too long. Who knows? This is one of the most beautiful parts of the countryside in Wiltshire, in my opinion. I never get bored of driving through here, especially on a nice day. It's not too bad at the moment, actually. Some blue sky up there. Um, so yeah, not, gonna, not sure if uh, any thunder's gonna, gonna roll in this afternoon, hopefully. Um, yeah, get, with a bit of blue sky, might be able to get some decent shots with the drone. We shall see. Here we are, we are in the stone circle now. I've got no idea where the crop circle is. I'm going to have to uh, have a bit of a drive around actually and uh, see what's what. If you ever come to Avebury, this is the best pub here, the Red Lion. Very famous pub. So 
so I just parked up and I'm hoping yeah this looks cool a little bridle way here and I've got a feeling the crop circle must be in here somewhere and this is perfect because I'm off the road and uh, perfect place to fly the drone I had to drive around quite a bit to try and find somewhere to park it's a bit of a nightmare uh, around Avery when it's um, you know in peak season because there's a lot of tourists and stuff but yeah this looks like the good a place as ever to, uh, to get the drone in the air and hopefully see what these crop circles like Let's go find this crop circle. So just walked into uh, slightly into the into the crop field here just to give you an idea of how crazy it is that we get these crop circles that are just so pristine and so geometric uh, geometrically accurate um, you know and symmetry and stuff like that there some of them are really incredible now you know i don't subscribe to the fact that you know little green men are making these things but you know and some are better than others um you know if, if there's such thing as a fake um you can spot them very easily they're generally quite untidy um but i've been you know fascinated with crop circles now for years um went to uh i remember going i think it was in the early 90s uh, my mum and dad took me to it was in the in the newspapers uh, all over the newspapers in the UK back then uh, there was a massive crop circle uh, in Wiltshire can't remember exactly where it was I think it was Alton Barnes and uh, yeah 
kind of took the world by storm and ever since you know this area of the countryside here is kind of like the crop circle capital of the UK and uh, every year um, starting around sign of April sort of May time through to the end of the harvest um, you know we're treated to quite a lot of, uh, of fascinating crop circles but yeah if you were uh, you know imagine imagine being here in the middle of the night and then creating a massive you know geometrically accurate crop circle it, it boggles the mind how how they do it um, it really is uh, really is clever I've been to um, been to some crop circles before now uh, there was one in Alton Barnes it's, again it's not too far away from here um, and uh, it was like a spiral galaxy of circles I think there were like 80 circles I forget how big it was but you had to climb up onto the top of the hill um, to kind of see it and then as you came over the top you saw it in the field and it literally took my breath away um, and it's ones like those that you just can't that I just I don't know <laughs> I can't see that there's any way unless you had a massive squad of you and a load of lights and stuff like that I just it boggles the mind how these things appear overnight and nobody has ever been caught making one um, so yeah very interesting you know got an open mind to it all um, but like I said you know really really fascinating so I hope that you enjoyed this little vlog um, I've really enjoyed it actually even though the weather's been a bit crap um, it's been nice to get out and uh, and put a little vlog together for you guys uh, gonna try and keep the channel a bit busier over the course of this summer me and Teresa have got lots of plans we bought a big air tent as well so um, in fact we're going camping next weekend so I'll probably do a little bit of a video um, at that point but uh, yeah no it's been really nice thanks for checking in uh, thanks to all of my subscribers on the channel the channel's slowly creeping up um, and to be honest I've only got myself to blame kind of hovering around 450 subs right now love to hit that kind of 500 mark so if you've enjoyed this video uh, and you're not subscribed already then please consider subscribing hit the like button and, and comment uh, you know it all hope helps the uh, the old weird YouTube algorithm and uh, and helps the video uh, to get a bigger audience but uh, yeah other than that I hope you're all doing really well and uh, I look forward to speaking to you all on the next video. See you later.